Well, I I agree with you, but I, I kind of disagree with you on, on the Puffy case. I think because of him being tied to the Tupac case, I think that's going to put a nail in his coffin. But he's not being charged with that. You got to also remember, like, you – you not you not you're not a liable for everything you've done in life. You're liable for what they're charging you with. I agree. Like with for you. instance, this is one thing you gotta understand too. Like this, in when when you're in court, when you got a case, the 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 prosecution has to give your lawyer the discovery. The discovery is every piece of evidence they're going to present in court. You know how, like in the movies, um, a court, um, uh, 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 like somebody will just bust in the courtroom and be like, "I want to testify. I have new evidence," and it's just like, and then they just walk up and get on the stand. No, no that's in real court. The, the prosecution has to give the the defense every single piece of evidence. If they present something in court that they did not give first to the um, defense in the discovery. It's a mistrial. It being admissible. Oh, God. No, no, it, 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 you can file a motion. Your lawyer can immediately say, I, I file a motion for a mistrial. And the judge can even be like, yes or no, or with prejudice or whatever. But um, yeah, you, you can, um, every piece of evidence they have against Diddy, everything they're charging with him, everything he's liable for in this particular case, He's a defense team was given by the prosecution. Well, Ock, I'm a, I'm a, two, Ock, I'm a two-time felon. I, I know how the court I system – I under, I completely understand how the court system works. The attorneys haven't got discovery yet. But what I'm saying is, is they can easily – the fact that there was a – there was court documentation where someone testified or admitted to the state – that somebody was hired by Diddy can be brought in. That's why when you were listening to that video, they talked about murders. So regardless of the, regardless of the situation, like even though the feds are there, like the defense is saying that there's a hole in their case. I don't think that I just don't think it's going to go that way. I just don't. The feds have a crazy high uh, close rate of conviction. And then right. on top of it, you have too many civil cases where there's too much information. And then you also have cases of felony cases of people testifying. The likelihood of Diddy getting off or the likelihood that Diddy's innocent is is uh, very low in, in the court of law. I agree. I, I, what I'm saying is, I feel better if I'm him, if I'm on his team, after hearing his lawyer talk, I feel much better than I did before hearing him talk. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that he's going to get off because, like you said, the Fed's got 98% conviction rate. But he got to be in that 2%. But they, the, the things he said about the, their case and the holes in their case, and the thing the lady said earlier about how they did it like a mob case, a mob indictment where they, um, you know, so instead of like a sexual, like a crime, they did like a mob indictment. It seemed like they they had to like work some shit to try to get a, uh, an indictment on them. They had to like, you know what I'm saying, like um, cut and paste an indictment together on him. They didn't have, they couldn't just run in there and be like, look, he did this and he did that. You indicted. They had to, like, you know what I'm saying, finagle it. So yeah. it's not, it's going on shaky on ground. Too. It's not on a solid foundation. I, I don't disagree. I don't, I'm not so, I don't necessarily disagree. But again, when it comes down to discovery and it comes down to the indictment, those are, those are two different ballparks. So, the just to get to him indicted, it could be shaky, but they could be withholding information for the trial. It depends on the severity of what they like, it depends on the severity of what they're trying to do. If they're trying to give out the false notion that he's 
he can he can skate. They might be withholding the, all their cards until they get to Discovery. We'll know, like we'll know more when we get to that point. He he was just indicted yesterday or today, so like I think it's too early. Like regardless, if you pay any attorney a million dollars or five hundred thousand or ten ten thousand, they're gonna tell you you probably have a good chance. That's their whole their whole sale. So the attorney saying that they have a good case, I personally take with a grain of salt because every case I've ever lost, that attorney told me I had a pretty good chance of beating it. Well, here's the here's the thing too though. Like, yes, they're gonna they're, they're, they're gonna tell you that you got a chance so that you that you don't leave their office. Like, they get you in the office. They say, "Yeah, you got a good chance." Now sign these papers and hand over that cash. Definitely, I got you with that. But he just was interviewed. He was grilled about it, and he answered all the questions. And my, from hearing his answers, like when they said they got fifty witnesses and victims, he said they only got one victim and forty nine witnesses. Yo, that's. I didn't. You didn't. I didn't know that before he 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 talked to them. Before he did that interview, I thought they had a bunch of girls. Only got one girl. Now, of course, he did that to other girls, and maybe during the case, other girls will come forward. But as of right now, according to his lawyer, they got one girl. This is all hinging on one girl who was his girlfriend for 10 years. I don't disagree, but you've been locked up. You've been locked up, correct, Ox? Yeah. Have you ever done with the feds? No. Yeah, so when you get locked up and go into the feds, everywhere you go, there's a sign that says, why do 10 when you can give it to a friend? Like, the fed, <laughs> like the feds legitimately are all about trying to put it in your in your bottom half with no lube. Well, listen, D.C. is all federal. It's, uh, if you commit crimes in the District of Columbia, you go into the feds. So it's like we don't have a state prison. So it's like, yeah, I know a bunch of dudes that have been to the feds. Yes, I understand. I, I got you. It's, yeah, they he could. It's a great chance he's going to be in prison for a long time. But he, it, I feel better than I did before I saw the interview. If I'm his camp, that's all. That's all I'm saying. Okay, I can understand that. Like yeah. legit, like legitly, I think that they probably had a weak case when they brought the indictment because I, I honestly think that they're. The, I personally think they're withholding charges. I think they're going to indict him with more charges prior to trial. Well, we'll see, man. We shall see. Listen, this is moving fast. So, it's some moving of these, fast. Uh, some, of these, some of these witnesses could have been co-conspirators uh, uh, throwing him under the bus. Yeah, I mean, look, once, like he said about the feds, once they, like those co-conspirators who are not indicted right now, they do not want to be indicted by the feds. So, yeah, so, yeah, they may be like, all right, whatever you want me to do, because I don't want to get indicted with a group that has a 98% conviction rate. So, yeah, if you're not indicted right now and they're working with you behind the scenes, like, yeah, give us information or do this, do that, most of those people are going to do that. Yes, I agree. He got a bunch of people that's going fucking – he don't have no friends right now. Well, I got you. Well, I, I do – you you could be right in the simple fact that he might be part of more powerful entities that are doing things and he wasn't acting right so there is the chance that if he acts right these case, these charges and stuff might fall off but that just depends if you believe in con conspiracy theories or if you believe that you know the elitists are into some stuff it could fall that way, but I'm just saying based on like how the feds work, like I've seen guys catch fed cases and before trial, they get hit with a, a bajillion felonies and get sank. So 
Yes. I'm more willing. I mean, to he's leave. in a lot of trouble, man. He's in. He's in. Yeah. He's in a world of trouble. Like, he's in a world of trouble, but it seems like he's in good hands. He's got a good lawyer. Um. So yeah, he's in. A, he's in a world. Of, oh yeah, fisherman. If you was in big, if you was in trouble, like a world of trouble, would you hire a juice crew lawyer, man? <laughs> Not a pick. Like an ethnicity to be my lawyer, then yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What, you what? what did you say? <laughs> what did you say? Wow. Hmm? Was that a yes or a no? I, that was a yes. Oh, my boy. See, I, that's why I love the fish, man. He's a nine. I, I, yeah, it was a yes. You passed, you passed my test, fish. It it's a frag. Is, it's a frag machine. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> Well, I mean, the thing about this, though, is that when Ghislaine Maxwell was indicted, her lawyer came out and gave some, you know, boss-ass response about this, that, and the third. They still nailed her. She still went to prison. And then they continued to argue, even after she was found guilty, to the point where they actually ended up moving her to Florida. And then they moved her to, like, a spa-like prison where you get free time and you can leave and bullshit like that. So yeah. even if they do find him guilty, like the, a myriad of things could happen. Yeah, but the the Epstein case is is just, is specifically different. In in Britain, Maxwell would have got five years at top top mic. Yeah, like so we don't have any evidence to prove that Diddy is as high high level as uh, the Epstein case. You also have to realize that when it comes down to foreign leaders and stuff, because there is evidence that foreign leaders were involved with Epstein, like, as the government, do you really want to, like, would you rather blackmail your enemies into into doing things that you want them to do or allies of yours that you want to blackmail into taking the position that you want, like... Epstein is a, a is a different is is a different level. We don't have any proof that Diddy is at that level yet. No, he's not. These are, he's not close. These, are these are parties. This is parties. This is just some sun man with a bunch of money being, you know, a fucking degenerate, the yeah. you know, a, a, a tight tyrant. A, you know, what yeah. I'm saying? being a, a heathenness with, with money. Yeah, he he. Well, this is being a typical this is sun man. Yeah, here we go. Good night. Like, all right, man. Yeah, this is this is this is um, this is this is um. But the the shit about hiding cameras and putting cameras in every room in your house, like, where the fuck do you think you learned that from? R. Kelly. But he's not being charged with that either, though. That's but the I'm thing saying, like, if he operates like that, like yeah. he he's not a nobody. Yeah, but to be fair, that's that's common with people that have money. They they do put cameras around their houses to blackmail people. Not necessarily, not necessarily to blackmail people, but it is quite common with people that have money. They do put cameras in all. But this one was house. to blackmail those savages. This was for the purpose of blackmailing. We don't know that. Like that's that's yeah. what he, that's what they're God. accusing him of. Yeah, that's, that's, like, that's you know, the allegations. You know, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. We're talking about when you're talking about just allegations and, and things like that. They have to prove that stuff. Like the, they they got work to do too. You well, know, what well, I'm saying? Well, well, fine. I, if you want to, you want to go to this whole glider court shit. Fine. Yeah, whatever. But yeah, but real, the the, the argument. The argument that I'm making, though, is we don't have any evidence of any high-level people being into these parties. There is evidence of of princes other than the Prince of England being at Epstein. We have presidents at Epstein. So, like, I agree with you with what you're saying, but at the same time, it's not. If you compare the two cases that we do have information on, they're not the same. No, in their own right. I mean, they're unique to their own, you know, to their own. But I mean, it still seems like he had cameras to black people. It seems like, who knows, right? Yeah, yeah, but it's, but like I agree with you that he probably did do blackmailing. But what I'm telling you is, when you 
when you end up building a $5 million house or a $7 million house, those people get cameras and those right. people aren't necessarily blackmailing. The fact of it is, is that he was the, a degenerate that was doing nefarious things and he's rich. Oh, guys, okay. so, I know what you're saying. Yeah. So like, it's common for people yeah. to have money to put cameras in yeah. him being degenerate and blackmailing is not like a, it's not, it's not, they don't go hand in hand. So the yeah, it doesn't go hand in hand. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm an electrician by trade. So I do a lot of cameras and crazy amount of power in, in big houses. A lot of people that have money, they definitely put cameras in their house outside. Yeah, their they house. I would. If I have a $5 million house, I'm surveilling the fuck out of that motherfucker. Shit, I'm the toilet and the oven. oven. The shower too, huh? Yeah, I'm throwing the. If I buy a, a, a box of cereal, I'm putting the camera on that motherfucker. It's going to be in the shower head? <laughs> the camera in the shower head? Well, yeah. You also yeah. have to realize that a lot of these people that have money like that, they do have a. Even if they're not doing anything illegal, they, they still do have threats. There, there are people that still randomly show up at their house. Like, yeah. there's a lot of things yeah. that go on for being famous and rich. Like, obviously, yeah. if you're a guy that works sure. in, as a plumber and you end up making a plumbing company and you become worth, you know, $300 million, your average person isn't going to know that guy. But when you become a celebrity and you're in the public eye and you get money, you're more prone to have fans come into your house people trying to get record deals or people trying to get movie deals or like you have, you're more likely when you're in the public eye to have people come to you. So it is common for people that make a lot of money to get cameras. So like him having the cameras is not necessarily a drag on him. But the do you fact- know that they were saying that he was trying to get people to do stuff like sexually in his no, house? I, I'm not disagreeing with you, but what I'm saying is, Someone said, well, he had cameras. Him having cameras is not an indicator that he was a piece of crap. Right, but we're Him adding to, to that. blackmail people. Is but we're adding to that. With the yeah, I'm with Fisherman on this one. Yeah. Like, you don't have, you don't have all these celebrities shit. bouncing around your house full of cameras. He should have never done it. He should have never done it. And he's drugging them? I mean, come on now. When you say like when you say drugging them, like that could mean like you know, I'm giving do these people. Let's just say, do let's just say do uh, what do you bro. mean? What do you mean? Do what do you mean? Don't do that shit, bro. You know what it's I mean, bro. A, it's, it's I know what you people. I know what you mean. We'll say enticing but people. I'm, but they I'm just saying like this is the case that they're mounting against them and they could be, you know, playing fast and loose with the they were drugging us. I'm just trying to see no, it from no, both sides. No, no, I, I got you. you. I got yeah. you. But you're, but you're doing this whole glider court system that we've seen. Oh yeah, no, it's too no, much. Wicked. It's too much. I, I think he, I think he's, just, you know, doing a lot of shit. They, they're accusing him of doing. So I'm with you yeah. on it. Right, right. Well, I mean, like this is here. this is how the behind the scenes works in our pop culture, whether anybody well, wants to actually admit it or not. Well, the only right. thing that the it thing damn that sure does. Is, the things that hurt him is he says that this is common in Hollywood. That statement in his defense hurts him too. The fact that he also has a proffer where there's a person that says that he paid him to kill Tupac, that also hurts him. Like if this was just a random person that didn't have these two indicators on the case that he's involved in, I would say that you know, the federal government is overstepping their bounds. They're just trying to make an example. They're on some malarkey. But with those two things involved, also when you look at the the club shooting he had where Shine took the case, like yeah, yeah. there shows a pattern of him doing stuff that is outside the law or accused of doing stuff outside the law that makes these accused these accusations a little bit more credible than your average person. Let's remember they did say murders were involved. Pop, pop, pop. 
hot woman mm-hmm. shot who's to blame. Shine mother. Well, you also have to realize that when Biggie got killed, he was about to release an album, and he had an album with Jay Z that was supposed to come out after that was going to release it from his contract. So yeah, yeah, like there's too much circumstantial evidence and too much things that are shady that are going yeah, on. Yeah, but here's the thing about that. Here, here's the thing about that. Okay, so you say Diddy wanted to keep Biggie on his payroll, um, and and because you got to remember, Biggie had his own company with Un Rivera. Biggie was not like just a. Biggie had his own artist. Biggie had his own um his own um. Um, entertainment. Entertainment was um Biggie and Un. That was their thing. And Lance, yeah. He had his own. He had his own publishing and all that stuff. Biggie wasn't like under Diddy. They just had Bad Boy really put out Biggie's album. That was the only D- distribution they had. Yeah, yes. exactly. They weren't like. Uh, I agree with you. Oh, but- okay. yeah. But Ak, uh, I agree with you. But the promise is when you have a contract and you're in a partnership with somebody and you die they automatically get all rights to the thing that you have so you're saying that but with the risk of yeah, we don't know the him, specific he stuff only got time. one album left like he only got one album left with you that he before the contract is over so you want to risk killing him and ruining your career it's just a lot to um for one album now if he had like 10 albums then maybe i mean he had one album left yeah, but Biggie, Biggie yo, you got, listen, you got some men that will kill you over a sandwich. Yeah, but you have to right, remember, but, but not with that much cheese. Well, like I, I'm not saying that you're wrong, but you have the bodyguard of Biggie coming out and saying specifically that P Diddy said Gene to him, Deal. Yeah, Gene Deal says a lot of stuff about Diddy. He made a career out of telling. He he. If you listen to Gene Deal, Diddy is an idiot who never did anything right, and we know that that's not true. You know, you don't get to where he's at and having never done anything right. So, um, right, right. Well, Ak, uh, you also know people that you've worked with or been around that the only reason that they were successful because of a favor. So, like, I'm not saying that Gene is. No, 100%. I don't. Actually, I don't. Actually, uh, uh, people got to work. You got to work hard, man. Actually, I, actually, I don't, man. You got. You have to work hard. I'm not disagreeing. Just to be in position. Just to be in that position. I'm not disagreeing that people don't have to work hard. But look at the guy from Tyson that was the CEO. He had to work hard. CFO. He ended up getting caught in a random person's house, trying in her bed, and he got arrested for it. Like. There are, nepotism does have negative consequences. That is possible. Yeah, it but where's the that's... nepotism in that? There's no nepotism in that situation. Yeah, like yeah, definitely yes. Yes, um, so, but th- this is this this is not a nepotism situation. This is just two dudes in in business. Like Diddy has a bunch of artists. Like Diddy, only time Diddy and Biggie hung out was when Biggie was dropping an album. When Biggie wasn't dropping the album, he didn't see Diddy. They wasn't hanging. They wasn't friends and shit. <laughs> I'm I'm not saying that you're wrong, but what I'm saying is, is you have a outside source claiming something. You have multiple circumstantial evidence. So, the fact of the matter is, is Diddy has owned the rights to to Biggie's music longer than he was alive. Right. I got you. I got you. But every listen, every, that's a linear way of thinking about it. I think that the, like people get shot and killed. Rappers get killed. Rappers get shot. Biggie got killed. He got shot in the midst of all that beef. Do I think that it necessarily has to be like, oh, this big conspiracy because he was trying to get out of his contract, so I'm going to pay these people to kill. I don't think it liked it. I think it was just some nigga shit. It was, I think all that Pac and Biggie stuff was just some nigga shit. And it, and it just, and, and, and people can't believe that two great artists went out so bad. Like, they went out sad. And people can't accept that. So they got to attach all these conspiracy theories. To well, it. Uh, I'm not saying you're wrong. But what I'm saying is, is Biggie and Tupac set the precedent of these rappers getting killed. 
you didn't have prior to them rappers getting killed all the time. You could well, be one hundred percent just in its infancy. You, like, and you, that's not true, and that's not true because um, there were rappers getting killed all the time. You just didn't have yeah, the internet. Quite a, you, Big L, Scott LaRock. Yeah, Video. you have rappers. You have rappers getting killed all the time, and and also um, the internet makes everything seem like it's happening more. Like even the stories we do here, all that stuff was happening back in the day. All that stuff, the crime was worse in the eighties. The murder was worse in the eighties, but you don't, you didn't, you only got to see your six o'clock news, and that was if you actually. Right. Watch the six like, o'clock news. <laughs> well, we can see it all now with the internet. I'm, worldwide. I'm, not yeah. saying, I'm not saying that you guys are wrong, but what I'm saying is, is when you hear that Tupac had like, people thought that Sean had something to do with Tupac, and then now we're thirty years later, and it comes out that he did. Like. The fact of the matter is, is if we were in the '90s still, I, I see what you're saying. Like that what argument, if it, that argument yeah, what if it would hold, that conclusion. Yeah, your argument would hold a hundred percent more weight. But now the fact that we have a guy who is so like people suspected he commit, who was involved. Now we have a person testify, like not testifying, but speaking to a prosecutor saying that he he, he was involved. Then we have that same guy being charged with trafficking and drugs and all sorts of stuff. It leads to more of what I'm saying is that this guy is willing to do bad things to preserve himself is what I'm saying. I'm not saying that I'm 100% right or he didn't wasn't involved. There's a lot of evidence that shows that this man is a bad man is what I'm trying to say. And yeah, it shows his character. Exactly. And that and that's my point. If you if you go back and look at the little Wayne interview where Diddy asked him about what he was telling new guys and he said not to mess with these Diddy dudes because they're trying to get in your butt. Then you go and you look at uh making the band and how he talked and treated these dudes that were on that show. Like there's so much evidence the interview where he talked to Kevin Hart about him and Usher waking up in the same bed when Usher was a minor. When you look at the interviews with him and Justin Bieber where they're being recorded talking to each other, like there's so much evidence that like is suspect. And then when you have yeah, people that are in, convicted, like you have people that are in de are dealing with the court system and they're saying that this dude's involved, shine. Kef, uh, uh, Kefi D or Kefi D or however you pronounce his name. The point that I'm making is, is I agree with you that the government could be trying to set this dude up, but there's a lot of evidence for the last 30 years that makes this dude look super guilty. Like nobody said the government set him up. Well, let me let me move along. 